So this question is a diagram question. Again, any question that provides some visual input like we have here in this table, I'm gonna first of all identify as a diagram question. I do that because I think that it becomes valuable to look at that picture. It's easier to take information in typically from a graph or a chart or a table um, or you know, if there's shapes that are being provided than it is to read everything first. So I like to look at the table first. So I see that there are schools here. It looks like I have elementary school, middle school, high school, and then a total row. And then I have two counties, right? Los Angeles County, San Diego County, and my total column over here. All right, so it seems pretty straightforward. Now I'll start to read. So it says the table summarizes the number of public schools in two California counties in 2017. So I already understood that by looking at the table. It goes on to say a public middle school will be selected at random from two counties. A public middle school will be selected at random from two counties, from the two counties. What is the probability to the nearest hundredth of selecting a school in San Diego County? So anytime and every time I see the word probability on this test, I am thinking fraction. The numerator to that fraction is what I want. The denominator of that fraction is what I'm choosing from, right? Or I like to say what I have. But really it's what, I, what you have to choose from. What are you choosing from? Right, so what do I want in this case? I want a school in San Diego County, a middle school, in fact, right? A public middle school in San Diego County. How many of those are there? Well, in San Diego County, there are 165 middle schools. So 165 is my numerator. Now, what am I choosing from, right? So a public middle school will be selected at random from the two counties. So I'm choosing out of all the middle schools between Los Angeles County and San Diego County, which is a total of 587 middle schools. So my denominator or what I have or what I'm choosing from is 587. So there's my fraction. So because this is the calculator section, I can just go straight to my calculator, type in 165 divided by 587. And what I am getting here is that that's equal to 0 0.2810. I want to round to the nearest hundredth. So that's going to just be 0 0.28, right? The one and zero can go away. And therefore, the correct answer here is choice C.